I'm I'm done. I'm done holding back. I am done holding back with this team, with this city. It, it's ridiculous. Brandon Workman, you suck. You suck. You're garbage. You should not even be an MLB pitcher. You are an absolute disgrace to baseball. You are god-awful. You're god-awful. You suck. This bullpen sucks. Everything about this bullpen is the reason why we are where we're at. It, it's true. If you think otherwise, then you're wrong. Because honestly, how many times have, have the Phillies blown a lead because of the bullpen? How many times? I, I can name them. Literally, we were up 7 to nothing against the Blue Jays. 7 to nothing, and we lose the game. How does that happen? How? Oh, yeah, that's right, the bullpen. How? I, I mean, it's, 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 it's every game, man. It's every game with this team. With this bullpen, they suck. They're sorry. They're garbage. I I can't even. It, it's it's every adjective just to deal with the word sucks. That's what this bullpen is. It's an absolute disgrace to baseball. It, it's a disgrace to the city. We have people sitting outside the stadium for literally hours on end. You know the pandemic crew and everything like that. They literally sit there and just watch slop after slop after slop after slop. And I'm sitting at home watching slop after slop after slop. It, it's it's every game. I don't even have to go over the stats, man. If you want to know, we lost both games today. We lost five one in the first game. We couldn't score a single run, basically. At all, I mean, there was a, a home run by Gene Segura. Congratulations, but it doesn't matter because he didn't do anything the second game. Harper went over three with two walks. I mean, it's it's everything. This whole team is banged up. We rely on the bullpen. David Hill pitched like a one and a third inning today. He was the starter for game two. Nola got rocked in the third inning, game one. We lose yesterday with Wheeler on the mound. This team is a joke, man. This team's a joke. I sit here every day and watch this team. Whether I make a video or I don't, it doesn't matter. I'm still watching it. It's absolutely exhausting. I wasn't going to make a video if we won. I was going to wait until tomorrow to do it. I would have gone to bed happy. But no. Instead, Brandon Workman comes in the pitch for the Phillies. And as soon as he did, I knew that we were going to lose. I knew it. I thought it with, with Hector Neris, who surprisingly pitched some good innings. Not that he doesn't stink, but he does. Brandon Workman it blows. He blows. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. I, I'm speechless, man. I'm actually to the point of where I don't even know what to say. This team is garbage. We're not making the playoffs for the ninth year in a row. And it's because of the bullpen. Is the w Was the offense there tonight, today, and yesterday? No, it wasn't. But we're asking you to get three outs, not 27. We're not asking you to get six. We're asking you to get three. You can't do it. Nobody in this bullpen can do it. Nobody. JoJo Romero comes in awful. Hale, Phelps, awful, awful. You can't make it up. You can't. I, I don't know what to say anymore. It can't happen, man. It can't happen. And it does. Every single game. And I bait myself into watching it. I bait myself into rooting for this team. I bait myself into really thinking that this team has a chance to make the playoffs. And deep down inside, I know they don't. It's the same feeling I have with the Sixers. It's the same feeling I have with the Eagles every single Sunday that they play a team that's even half decent at this point. I knew they were going to lose against the Rams. Did you really believe that... Carson Wentz and this offensive line and this team alone could beat a team that just beat one of the best offenses in the league? No, they couldn't. And I knew that deep down inside, but I have to be I have to be positive. I have to say, "Oh, well I think Carson's going to do better. Oh, I think this. Oh, I think that." But deep down in the, in, inside, I know it's not going to happen because I've been a fan of sports long enough and same thing with this city. 
I've been a sports fan and a Philly sports fan long enough to know that this city is a bunch of disappointments. It's absolutely embarrassing. I cannot wrap my head around how annoyed I am at this bullpen, at this team in general. We had everything lined up to where we were going to walk into the playoffs with being the second seed in the NL East, and we blow it. We lose five of seven to the Marlins like we do every time. We lose to the Braves. We lose two to the three, four, five to the Mets. We lose now three games in a row to the Nationals, who we've been beating all season. We can't keep guys off the IL. Hoskins is there. Hembry's there. Jay Bruce just got back. I'm sure Roman's going to make his way back before the end of the season. Kingry's been on and off. We had Wheeler that can't put his pants on. Nola, like, it's a joke, man. I can't even make this up. I'm literally going insane watching this team. It's a joke. I can't. I seriously, I just can't, man. Why? Oh my God, why? <laughs> like, I, I, ser I can't make it up. And I, I'm truly trying to just... <sighs> I just don't even know. I, I don't even know anymore. We have four games left. Four. And we're two games under 500. We stink. What's going to happen, man? We're never going to get past... We've, been, we've had the same, around the same record for the last three years now. We were 500 first year at Kapler. We were one game over 500 with Cap, second year of Kapler. And now with Girardi, we could literally be three or four or five games under 500. I gave us wins because of the Girardi signing. It doesn't matter. We don't have bullpen. We don't have pitching. Outside of Wheeler and Nola, and every now and then Eflin, we don't have consistent hitting. It, it's a joke. It's a joke. And Matt Klentek is the reasoning behind all of this. I'm sorry if people really want to back this guy up because I have no idea why you would ever want to do such a thing. He's awful at what he does, and what he does is literally nothing. We had... We were literally buyers at the deadline. And what do we do? We get David Phelps, who has done nothing but constantly give up runs, does nothing but let people on base for, so that the other guys can let them score because that's all that happens with this team. It, that's it. We're two games under 500. we We're not going to make the playoffs, man. We're not even in the, in the, in the spot anymore. We're three... We're like three spots out of where we just were literally an hour ago. The the Reds, the Brewers, and the Giants. Gabe Kapler and the Giants are ahead of us. What does that say? I mean, at that point, it's really not Kapler's fault. Was he an idiot? Of course he was. He's Gabe Kapler. He's nobody. He's a dummy. I'm not giving him any credit. But it it goes to show just how bad Matt Klintek really is. That with one of one of the best managers since I've been alive, Joe Girardi, one of the best players in in Bryce Harper, JT Room, you tell you get Didi, you have so many players, and we're still not in the playoffs. Nine years. It's been nine years. Harper chose this city because we were supposed to be there by now. We were supposed to be there last year. We had World Series aspirations. Not that I followed them, but my God. One game over 500 last year. You're going to probably finish 500 or lower this season. You have four games, man. You have three against the Rays and then one against the Nationals tomorrow. I doubt you're going to win. You got Eflin. Congrats, guys. Can't wait to see the bullpen in the fourth. It's frustrating. It, it truly is. And I love this team, and I love this city, and I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. But honestly, 
at this point, it's just ridiculous. I can't do anything but literally do this, rant about them. Say every little thing. It's ridiculous, man. Who cares about stats when you're losing every game because of one reason? The bullpen stinks. It's so frustrating. It's exhausting watching these teams play since they've been back. It's been absolutely torturous. We play the Bengals and, and, the, and the Nationals this week for Philadelphia games, and we play the Rays this weekend. This city's a... This city is frustrating to root for. It truly is. And, you know, you see these four teams, and obviously sometimes I cover the Union, who are doing pretty solid, but... I, I don't even know what to say anymore, man. This... this this team has taken the life out of me. They have done nothing but truly disappoint this season. They stink. The bullpen will never do anything. You know, they stink. They're the reason why we're in this uh why we're in the spot that we're in. It's that it's just facts. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Glad you I hope you guys liked my rant because you know, I'm sure when they're officially eliminated from playoff contention, there will be another one. And, you know, watching five minutes of the post game with Ricky Patalico and Michael Barkan and, you know, uh, John Crook. And... It's a joke, man. They, they, they have the same thoughts as I do. It's not just me. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys liked the rant and the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all for watching again, and I'm out. Peace.